Hey everybody, Happy New Year and welcome to the first week of the documentation project. I want to make sure that I keep things as um, simple and as possible for you here this week because I know a lot of you are heading back to school. Um, and so our first challenge is really, um, it's an interesting one and it, it might be a little bit daunting for some of you so I'm going to invite you to talk about it here. But what I really want to invite you to do this week is to think about what you would like the focal point of your documentation project to be this year and whether or not you intend to learn from your students and discover something from them that may be completely unexpected or whether you plan to take a more structured approach and test and implement and study something um, along the lines of a best practice or a promising practice that you've researched, studied in the literature, or maybe learned about through a workshop. I'll give you an example. Um, when I was in the classroom, I did do some action research around writing workshop practices that I learned about from other experts in the field. So I would study things like um, conferring, or I would study um, how to do a mini lesson in a different way using a different approach or a different structure. I would study the impact of the rubrics that I was using on my students' ability to revise. These are all examples of more focused projects where we know exactly what we want to document, the tools and resources that we're going to use, when we want to do that documentation, um, and how we intend to capture the evidence. And that's a beautiful thing. Some people, though, are a little bit more interested in um, documenting in order to learn from their students. And in this way, they make their students their teachers um, completely from the get-go. So in other words, instead of documenting around a promising practice or a best practice that came from the literature, they use something uh, more of a grounded theory approach. Grounded theory means that the theories that emerge don't come from the literature and they don't necessarily come from a workshop or another expert in the field. They're grounded in our work with students. And so when I ran my writer's studio and as I continue to do work in classrooms as a coach um, all around the country and in, in different parts of the world now, which is kind of exciting, um, and that's limited work, but still my perspective is growing. One of the things that I'm constantly documenting is resistant writers. That's a topic, it's not a guiding question, and I'm not necessarily studying research or literature in a very controlled way in order to implement a best practice um, inside of those different contexts. Instead, I'm going in and teaching and documenting everything that I'm noticing relevant to resistance. And um, what I discovered through that approach was really career changing for me, um, that's where make writing came from. That's where the conclusions that I drew around integrating making and writing and changing my perspective around what print was and how to engage kids who appeared to be print resistant, it, it all came from starting really kind of wide um, with that particular topic and not a real tight focal point uh, and just documenting and then coding that data and, and grounding the theories that were emerging in the work that I was doing with kids. And so there is no right or wrong way to approach this, but I thought in terms of our first week together and our conversations inside of this group and also the resources that I'll share between now and Sunday, it might be a good place to begin to think about how focused your documentation work is going to be. Do you have a promising or a best practice that you intend to implement? Or do you really want to document in order to learn from your kids? Your answers there will probably guide the decisions that you make in this group and in your work um, as we're moving forward. So I hope you'll talk about them with me here. Uh, and I hope that you're having a really good um, return to school if this is what you're doing um, this week, like most of the people in, in my area of the world are. I will see you in this group throughout this week and reach out to me if you want to talk more. Um, good luck and I'm excited to see what your answers are and how you're responding um, to this work as we're moving forward. Have a good day, everybody.